wanted to talk about dislocation. And it's something I've been talking about for a while, but in order to control people, you need to dislocate them from the things they belong to because belonging gives you reinforcement. Belonging means you're part of something. Belonging means that you're around other people who think maybe the same way or at least support you. You've got a network of things that you belong to and those take different shapes. So in a macro kind of way, people who belong to fought for their country, my grandfather and others signing up to join the military. This idea of having pride in your country and belonging to your country and your flag meant something and your anthem. And that, of course, has been dislocated. People have that's been hacked away at. You can't fly the flag, can't fly the St George's flag because it's racist. You probably drive a white van uh, singing the national anthem. Well, that's something that only gammons would do, you know, stripping away that sense of belonging. And, and that goes with the monarchy as well, which is why we have paid agitators holding signs saying not my king and the media pushing this idea that the monarchy will be gone within five years, which I think it will be. Then there's you belong to other things right uh, between your family and your country, you belong to clubs or organizations or you belong to people used to belong to their church and their church was at the center of their lives and that's been stripped away so religion in the UK in terms of a Christian religion has been stripped away and we saw that in the last survey that showed that Christianity is not the number one religion in the UK anymore and we see it with the selling of churches churches are sold off to be an architect or a mosque or whatever the belief and the belonging to a church has been stripped away and increasingly as politics enters the church, people are turning away from it more and more. And then at a much more kind of close and personal level, people belong to their family. Right? Your, your family was the thing you would always defend, you would defend it to the death. Whereas young people and people being indoctrinated in schools and university systems are taught that really the family doesn't matter. The family is whatever you decide it to be. The structure of a family, the traditional family is something, it's a relic from the past. It's something only the very oldest of people believed in. You can be this, you can be that, you can go this way, you can be a thruple, you can be a whatever, which is fine. People can be whatever they want to be, but it dislocates people further from their family. And what you end up with are nomads people, an entire generation now who belong to nothing and believe they prefer it that way. Whereas actually they're reaching out to belong to something, but they don't know it. So the latest cause, the latest fad, the latest person holding a sign, or oh, is it Greta? Or oh, is it Ukraine? Or oh, is it protesting this? Is it, is it this way of eating or being or living or apologizing? Trying to belong to something, but each time it's a mere frippery. It's not something structural. It's not something bigger than the individual or the self. And in fact, in truth, for many young people who have been indoctrinated through the school system or university or have been dislocated from everything that we used to belong to and potentially don't even realise it, their biggest relationship is with their gadget or their device or their phone. And if you were to take away that phone or they were to lose it, a young person in particular and also older would feel bereft. And people could say, well, it's got all of my contacts. Oh, it's got all of my photos. Oh, it's got all of my, all the things I need. But that isn't actually the truth of what a person whose primary relationship with their device is. The truth is that they have an emotional connection with the device because it's the thing that they're closest to in their whole world. And when we hear about far off ideas such as hacked humans or the integration between AI and humans, or you think about Neuralink where people's brains will be hacked and joined with computer systems, 
you see how far down that route we are already. You look at Neuralink or you look at hacked humans and you think it's something way over there. And it, it is in, on the horizon, but we are tracking, younger generations are tracking towards that. The scaffolding, the structural, the foundations of the track towards Neuralink and AI plus human and complete changing of the makeup of humanity. We're tracking towards it. And the truth is that by stripping away people's sense of belonging, by dislocating people from each other and from the things they used to belong to, you send them tracking in a direction that you plan for them to track to all along. And ultimately what you will achieve is complete control. And when people say, well, well, so what, it's okay to talk about this. Oh, I feel this, but I didn't realize, or I, I felt bits of this, but I didn't know. It's one of the reasons I do what I do and I demand and I insist and I compel people to gather, not necessarily just to see me, but for whatever reason you can belong so stand in the park or your local church or a speakeasy that you're part of. Gathering, grouping together, belonging is a way of putting the brakes in, giving people escape routes, you know, like you see going down a hill for lorries, those sort of paths of gritty gravel that would slow a lorry. That's what we're doing when we gather we're putting friction in and we are slowing this tracking towards a time when humanity is fundamentally changed. And what we must try and do every day is disrupt this heinous relationship between young people and their devices over other relationships that should matter so much more.